This tutorial is called Coloring with a Gradient Mesh in Illustrator. For this lesson, we're going to use a previous illustration created in the tutorial called Creating a Vector Travel Mug in Illustrator. Using the Mesh tool, we'll create a realistic looking silver bottom for this coffee mug. In the previous tutorial, we had just finished creating the mug and colored the bottom section using a gradient. It looked good, but if you want a more realistic look, the mesh tool does a much better job. Keep in mind that microstock sites such as iStock Photo want you to indicate in the description of your vector art that you've used a gradient mesh so that the customer is aware of it. Using our previous art, make the fill for the bottom part none and keep the outline. Place and line up the original image of the mug behind the art. Copy the bottom object and create a new layer by going to Window in the top menu and selecting Layers. You can also open layers from the panel on the right side of your screen. At the bottom, click on Create New Layer. Make sure you have nothing selected and paste in front or Control F the object onto the new layer. Lock layer 1 by clicking on the toggles lock square. On the layers panel, click on the eye next to layer 1 while holding down the control key. This changes the view of that layer to outlines. To change it back, repeat the process. This becomes important in the next step. Choose the mesh tool from the tools palette on the left. Click along the top line of the object to place Mesh Grid Divisions. Choose areas where the color is at its most dark or most light. Here's an idea of where you may choose to place the sections of your mesh grid. If you click within the object and not on the edges, a point will be placed within the object. Since the lights and shadows only run vertically on this object, I've tried to limit the points to the edges. Once you have your divisions chosen, you can color the mesh. Click on the Direct Selection tool, and then on the Eyedropper tool. If you hold down the Control key, you'll see that your tool toggles back to the Direct Selection tool. To color a point, hold down Control, select the point, release the Control key to bring back the eyedropper, and move it just off the point onto the image. Click on the image to select your color. To see the change, control click on the eye on the layers palette. Continue doing this to the other points, defining your mesh grid. Once you've colored all of your points along the top and bottom, you can look the entire thing over and make any corrections that you might want to make. Once you're happy with how it looks, you can delete the background and you've completed your vector gradient mesh. And thanks for watching.